What is up guys, Tony here, and today we're going to be continuing the montage editing tutorial series with another highly requested uh, tutorial. How do you do 3D animations and, uh, you know, all those little cool things like flipping uh, the players off or uh, doing the sunglasses and all that stuff in Final Cut Pro. Um, and the reason why it's, you know, pretty, you know, weird is because a lot of people think that I go ahead and open up Cinema 4D and do some 3D animations. Now you can do that. Say you want to do an animation of the guy doing something like, you know, sh like like opening a computer screen and checking out your YouTube channel. Uh, you are going to need to do something custom in Cinema 4D. But in, in reality, it's really as simple to find uh, pre-keyed footage like this, uh, which I'll actually link the guy who actually you made most of this footage you're looking at right now. So you guys can check out his channel and see more of his work. I don't want to, you know try to act like this is mine. Uh, but yeah, you can find a lot of this stuff online and use it. Uh, it does get kind of overused, but some of it isn't really that overused, and it's actually pretty cool. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do it in Final Cut, because it's, even though it's as simple as downloading these things, it is pretty difficult to figure out how to do it on uh, the old uh, Final Cut, because you know a lot of people don't understand how you take away the green screen, or how you take away the blue screen, or how you take away the black screen. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and demo how to do that. So you take uh, the no scopes footage I got here, so any footage you have, and you go ahead, drag it in the timeline. And what you're going to look for in the clip, which is you know kind of important, you need to look for a spot that it'll fit into. Look for when you YY. Uh, it's usually the best point. Basically, any point where where the gun and the hands of the player are not in the screen. That's usually the best point to do it at. So let me just find a sweet spot here. And you're basically going to cut that out, and you're going to basically bring it down to like 5% speed, 5% speed, or whatever is long enough to fit the entire green screen. And you're going to bring down it to, obviously, optical flow. I'm going to do frame blending, just so I don't have to spend a lot of time waiting for optical flow. And you're going to go ahead and choose the green screen you want. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the fuck you green screen, because it makes me feel good inside. And as you can see, when you drag it on top of your clip, uh, you are going to notice there is still a green screen. So um, a lot of people think right-click the clip. Maybe there's a green screen option, just like on iMovie. There is no option for that. So what you need to do is go into your effects library, which is over here, of course. And you're going to go ahead and type in keyer. Uh, keyer is basically something that keys out any green or blue screen footage. And you drag it on top, and bam, it is done. Simple as that. Now, if it does look a little bit off color, you can mess around with the colors here and stuff like that. Um, I am actually not going to show you how to do that in this video. If you guys want a more advanced tutorial on how to make the keyed footage look like it fits in, I can go ahead and do that. But to be all in all honesty, if you just take the clip, combine it with your clip, and add a few color corrections onto it, you can't tell the difference at all. Um, let me just go ahead and demo that to you. Now you can't really tell the difference at all. It looks like it's all in one clip. So in reality, once you add color correction, it really doesn't matter. But if you are really trying to make a professional movie, and you want it to look like Hollywood quality, like you can't even tell the difference, yeah, you might want to spend a little bit more time um, making that look better. Now, uh, once again, we're going to check out some other types of colored screens. You also got the blue screen, which is actually a little bit less common, but it's still used nonetheless. Uh, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to Keyer. And let me make sure I find. There we go. And the same thing. Bam. It's done. Simple as that grabs the sniper. I don't really understand how that fits there. But anyway, yeah, same thing. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you can also mess around with these. Like, there's black and white, which is kind of cool. You can get a black and white version of all these 3D animations, which could be cool for, like, uh, any footage, really. I mean, you can also take that and put it onto here, and then do, like, black and white, which looks really ugly, so never mind. But uh, it's actually really fun to do stuff like that with these types of things, um, especially when it's something like this. Let me show you a really cool one to do it with. Let me get rid of this, bring this in. Now, I wonder if this is going to work. Let's hope it does so I'm not embarrassed. Embarrassed. There you go. And this looks kind of cool. It would be cool for a little cinematic to start the video and put some like white test text on top, maybe a little bit of blood splatter. That would be pretty cool. And uh, that's another little tool you can do at Keyer. And uh, speaking of this one, you'll notice that when I use this one, there's literally no keying involved. I don't have any key or effect on this. That's because with black screens, uh, Final Cut Pro already uh, recognizes it's called pre-keyed footage, as in it's already keyed, so you don't have to key it in the program, which is pretty cool. 
Um, so basically with black footage uh, that has you know already the black screen on it, that means you won't really have to worry about it. But there are some black footages, footages uh, like you know cabbages. There are some black uh, ba black backgrounds that you need to key out yourself. And when you have those black backgrounds, this isn't one of them. You're basically going to go into compositing over here on the info panel, and you're going to go to blend mode, and you're going to go to add. And usually that'll get rid of the black screen. Uh, the only problem with that is the opacity of the actual comp composition itself down here will lighten a bit, but it'll still look pretty good. And it's the closest you're going to get without losing the opportunity to do what you want to do. So pretty much that is it. That is how you do keyed footage with 3D animations on Final Cut Pro. Uh, if you guys like this video and you like this tutorial and how I explain to editing, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, once I hit 1,000 subscribers, which should be pretty soon here, I will be releasing an editing pack with all of the effects I use on a daily basis. Some of them costed me upwards of $1,000 uh, in terms of plugins for Final Cut Pro. And I want to give back to the community and uh, allow people to use some of these tools to learn in an educational process. Uh, I'm not pirating or anything here. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I am Tony. If you guys enjoyed this video, once again, leave a like and a comment. And also, if you want, go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.